it's not about you know the passing game, the running game. What does it take for us to win in a game? You know, um, and it's doing it collectively with the defense and collectively with the special teams. And you know, both aspects, offense and defense, are obviously involved with special teams. But everybody has bought into what does it take to win. And that's a message that Pat preaches here and does an excellent job of. And our kids believe in it, you know, because they're living it now. You got to get there and you got to live it, you know. And they really believe in that. They understand the value of what that means now, where before it was words. Now they, they're living it, so it's become really real. Are, are Hall and Olison kind of the they're standard, the guys you children, put in? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, jo- I tell you what, yeah, George Aston. I, you know, I, I said this to everybody last week. Aaron Matthews is not getting enough credit for what he does. I mean, they, this is a guy who's underneath the radar screen, and he's just a receiver, does a lot of hefty, heavy lifting for us, and that's a great example. George is a great example. And then those two backs, they really don't care who. They're rooting for each other. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're good people. Speaking of the backs, they're both in the top 40 in the country in rushing. They both have a chance for a thousand yards. Quadri's already there. Would you say you think that they're the best one-two punch in the country? Uh, you know, we we were laughing about this today. We we honestly don't know what's going on outside our building because we come in at six and we leave at whatever time, 10, whatever it is at night. I just think they're really good. They're great for us, and I'm thankful to have them because uh, you know the selflessness they have. You know, and, and you know what they bring as value as people and players to our program. Uh, they, for me, they're the best. Well, Sean, you had three straight division opponents before mm-hmm. this. Uh, how will this preparation change when you're going up against a team you've never faced and you don't have sort of that head-to-head film to look at from yeah. previous years? Yeah, it's different because you know we have a reference. You know, I have a reference at least of you know a couple years. You know, with other opponents like you're speaking of. Uh, having not seen them last year is different for me. It's different for the entire staff. You know, Tim and and uh, Sherm on my side of the ball as well as Andre. They haven't seen them either. So this is uh, this is like playing you know an out of con- you know out of conference opponent. So it's it's different. You know, uh, you know, when I think of your time as a coordinator, Sean, I always you know think of you know sort of the West Coast offense. Mm-hmm. Your work with you know, with the quarterbacks, especially Teddy Bridgewater. You know, and I think of passing. I mean, how different of an experience has it been for you, sort of overseeing this, you know, this mm-hmm. kind of ground and pound team that really runs it a lot? Uh, we've lived it before. David Borgley and I have lived it at Colorado. We've lived it at Louisville. So, you know, we, we understand what it takes to develop uh, the team. You know, I mean, we're, we're developing. We've got an inexperienced receiver room, even though we have some older guys that need playing time. Then we got some younger guys that are really, really good. And we got a young quarterback that we think is going to be really, really good. So, you know, we were able to put all, you know, we were able to lean on a strength of our, one of the strengths of our football team, that's that offensive line who's really come together, gelled together, and the chemistry they built, and then those two backs and George Aston. You know, so, you know, we understand what it takes to build, you know, to build it. And what to lean on and, you know, then how to grow as we go through the season, you know, because we, we can't be one dimensional. We have to present a passing game. And, um, you know, how we can grow those young receivers, which is what we put a lot of time into. And I say young, I just mean, what I mean by that is inex- the experience in the room. Obviously, you know, hiring Dave was Pat's call mm-hmm. ultimately, but how much were you in his ear about, like, if we bring him in, this is what this run game can be? Uh, you know, uh, we just have a unbelievable chemistry, the two of us. He, you know, we. I I really believe in him. I I know he is a master coach uh, on the field in terms of (coughs) excuse me fundamentals, and then also in in the scheme of the game. Um, And he we go together. We kind of both understand each other's minds, and uh, it's been big for for me, huge for me, and obviously huge for us. You expect Wake to stack the box and what have you seen when you're watching the film? Everybody plays us different than what we see on film. You know, we, we're adjusting during games and, you know, we, you know, we we build our plans to, you know, in, in anticipation of things that we feel like we may see um, and things that we need to do to counter that. And uh, without giving away the family secrets, that's how we build it. And, um, you know, that's part of the chemistry we just spoke of. And it, it's, uh, you know, I would expect something different than what we're going to see on film. You know, we see it from everybody, you know, we, the, the difference. And then, you know, our preparation is that we have to prepare for that. Has Kenny developed at the pace you wanted or expected him to this season so far? He's he's growing. I think, that, you know, it's it's a process. And going through this with so many kids, I mean, it's uh, the true first year of playing, you know, um, 
especially, you know, I'm talking about year. He had a great game against Miami, mm -hmm. and that's just like, and everybody had these expectations of. But, you know, I was reminded by, uh, you know, <laughs> several people in my life that I really trust as mentors, hey, this is the year that he'll grow. Because he's got to go through all the things that he didn't go through last year in a season. Uh, so he's, he's he, I, I love the fact that <clears throat> every day he comes here and he competes in the classroom, he competes on the football field. He really wants to, he, you know, he, he's d a desire to get better. He's got it. Um, so he's, a, he, he's where, honestly, he's where all the kids I've had are in the first year. You know, the ups and downs of the season. And then somewhere along the way, there's this, uh, the light comes on. And it's like, okay, that's what you were talking about, or that's how it happens. And he's had those moments in this season. His voice seems a little hoarse. Is that just from 10 weeks of barking yeah. out yeah. checks or he's, what? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he does a lot of communicating. He comes off that field, and that's what it sounds like when it comes off, because <laughs> we do a lot of communicating at the line of scrimmage. Um, so, yeah. yeah, he sounds a little hoarse up here. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? So what is Carson? Added and Carson added. big, you know Carson's allowed us to have you know thump on the edge and you know he's embraced uh, that role. We were using him as a receiver, which he thinks he's really a pretty gifted athlete now. Ask if he could spat the other day and wear you know wristbands and a towel. So he's he's really he's uh, gravitated to the the role. He's uh, he's been fun, he, you know, because you know I mentioned Aaron, I mentioned George. Um, he needs to have a you know he's a, a, a big reason too. You know, it's five guys inside, but man, that edge has got to get set, and you know he's he's given us you know the ability to set the edge, and honestly, he's <laughs> we poured some passing game into him, and he's really done a nice job. We had uh, talked about Kenny's progress, Sean. How you know from your vantage point, how do you feel like he's uh, sort of dealt with the you know with with what the identity of this mm -hmm. offense has become, where it's you know where he's maybe only passing like eleven times a game. <clears throat> yeah, we 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 talk about whatever it takes to win. You know, it's about the team. That's a constant message around this building, and they'll never change. You know, there'll be a day. You know, uh, we had to, you know, we had to, you know, win. You know, in a two-minute drill. That's where they need to show up when called upon. They got to be like a, you know, Navy SEAL man. They got to be ready to go. They got to be ready to perform, and whatever that means. And he's bought into the team. They all have. You know, those receivers have done. You know, those breakout runs are because those guys are getting their work done downfield. And you know, a lot of guys, you know, want to catch passes. They've all bought into it in that room, and Aaron Matthews has led the charge because they see how much fun he's having and how he impacts the game. So they want to have the same impact, the same value to our team in team wins.